Okay, in this problem we have to solve this differential equation. So this is a homogeneous differential equation, and you can tell just by looking at it, by looking at the exponents. Notice the exponent here is 1, and here it's 1, and here it's 1. So this is called a homogeneous function of degree 1, and this is called a homogeneous function of degree 1. When they're both the same degree, it's called a homogeneous differential equation. So for example, if you had x, y squared, dx, plus y cubed, dy, this would be a homogeneous differential equation of degree 3. Because here it's 3, and here you can actually add the exponents even though the variables are different. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So this would be a homogeneous DE. Now if I erase the x, that's no good and it won't work anymore. Okay, so there's two ways to solve these uh, DEs. Method one is that you let y equal to ux, and in this case dy is equal to u dx plus x du. And I just have it memorized, but it is the product rule, so you just alternate the derivatives. Method two, you let x equal vy, in which case dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. So in theory, you can use either of these methods to get the right answer every single time, in theory. The problem is that there's usually a one that's easier, or I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> So in this case, it's easier to use this one. And the reason is the following. If you use this one, if you take this dy and you replace it here with dy, what's going to happen is you're going to get u dx plus x du times all of this stuff. And then you have to FOIL so it's more work. So you always want to pick the one that looks simpler. So x is much simpler than y minus 2x. So choose to use this one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write it down again. So x equals vy, that's our substitution that we will use. And then dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. Okay, now we are carefully going to substitute everything. These are very easy to mess up on. So x is vy, so I'm going to replace that with vy. Oh, and we also have to replace dx. So vx, dx is v dy plus y dv plus, and then y, so parentheses y, minus 2x, but x is vy, so vy, and just take your time, and then dy equals 0. I'm just going to pause here for a moment and just look over my work to make sure it's correct. It's very, very easy to mess up in these problems. And little mistakes can be bad because it makes the problem harder later on or impossible. So x is vy. Everything looks okay there. dx is this piece. Looks like we're good. y minus 2x, but x is vy. Everything looks okay. And now we distribute. So this times this, that's going to give us v squared y dy plus, and then this times this, will give us vy squared dv. So vy squared dv. And then y times dy, so plus y dy, minus 2vy dy, and this is equal to zero. So far, so good. Again, always be extra cautious when you're doing the homogeneous problems. I, I feel that these are the hardest ones uh, that are typically studied at the beginning of, the di of a differential equations course. Uh, in my opinion, these are, the, these are the hardest ones. Some people think Bernoulli's are harder, but I, I think th these are tough. So nothing cancels. It looks like nothing here cancels. A lot of times things will cancel. Not the case here. So what we do next is we group stuff. So watch this. I'm going to group all of these things with dy, like this. And they all have a dy in common, and they also all have a y in common. So watch v squared, that's the first one. Now I'm going to take this one, so minus 2v, and now let's go to the second one, plus, oh not the second one, sorry, uh, this one here, boom, plus 1, y dy. 
So you see what I did is I pulled out the y dy from all three of these underlying terms. And we were left with v squared minus 2v plus 1. This here, let's take this to the other side. So we get minus v y squared dv. Really tough, right? Really, uh, uh, you just got to be careful. So we want to separate it. The result here is always going to be a uh, separable differential equation. So uh, we already have the y dy here. So I guess we need to take this y squared and divide by it and also divide by this. So that will put us at v, uh, y over y squared. I'm also going to put the negative over here. So I'll divide by negative y squared dy equals and then v over all of this stuff here. So this is v squared minus 2v plus 1 dv. So we just took this and divided by it and that went to the right hand side and then divided by negative y squared. Now we can integrate both pieces. So this will be negative 1 over y dy. This is an easy integral. This is going to give us a uh, natural log of the absolute value of y, so no issues there. Equals v over, and then ideally you would notice that the bottom piece is this. It's just v uh, minus 1 squared. You can check by multiplying it out. If you square the v, you get v squared. If you multiply the negative 1 and the v, you get negative v, and you double it. That gives you the middle term. And you square the last one, and it gives you the last term. So the formula is a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab uh, plus b squared. Okay, um, there's a couple ways to do this integral here on the right. So method one is to make a u substitution. Um, I don't like that method. You could do it. It works. You would let u equal v minus 1, and you'd have to do a little bit more work after that. I prefer to do it uh, the faster way, so watch this. I'm going to write the integrand here. And you just tell yourself that it would be really nice if it was v minus 1 there, because then the v's, the, it would cancel. So you just put it there. But you can't do that, so what you do is you take it away. So we've essentially added 0 in a clever way. We've, right, we've done v equals v minus 1 plus 1. And then we parenthesized it and then just broken it up into two different sums. So basically we've done nothing here. And this is equal to 1 over v minus 1 plus. And then to integrate this, we're going to have to bring it up. So I'm going to write it like that. All right. Now we're in a very good position to uh, work this out. By the way, I did skip a step here. So if it's not clear, the, the missing step is this. Let me, just, let me just write it just in case there's someone out there in the world. And they're like, what happened there? <sighs> this will save you some, some pain, maybe. Um, so you see you can break it up and then from here I go here, right? So this is this is useful. This is like this is useful math This is what it's all about key key technique So here we'll get negative ln absolute value of y. I'll hold off on writing the C until I'm done integrating everything And then we have this here So it'll be the integral of 1 over v minus 1 dv and then plus the integral of uh, v minus 1 the negative 2 um, dv. This is negative ln absolute value of y. Both of these integrals require u substitutions. In both cases, you would let u equal v minus 1, and then du equals dv. So nothing changes except the v minus 1 becomes a u. So in theory, you could skip the work here and just do it in your head, which is what we'll do. This will really be 1 over u, but that's just going to give us ln u, which is just ln v minus 1. Boom. This one is going to be u to the negative 2. So it'll become u to the negative 1 over negative 1. So let's just go ahead and be abusive and write it as v minus 1 to the negative 1 over negative 1. And then plus rc. Normally, I would not be this abusive. It's just that du is equal to dv. So there is really no loss in being abusive in this case. So it's, sometimes it's OK. You know, and I think this is one of those cases. This is negative ln absolute value of y equals, ah, what do we do now? So x, x was vy. So v is equal to y over x, right? Super key, right? So you got to go back to where you started now because you want to finish with only x's and y's. So this is ln absolute value y over x minus 1. And then this is minus 1 over v minus 1. So this is y over x minus 1, right? Because it, it comes down. It becomes this. 
and then you replace v with y over x, uh, and then plus plus c. Ridiculous, right? Completely ridiculous. Uh, oh, wow, wow, it's been over 10 minutes. Insane, right? Insane. And I, I believe this is supposed to be like a, an easier problem. Like this is like, you know, near the, you know, if you're reading a, a math book and you open the book to the section on uh, homogeneous, this might be like the first example or something. So uh, they do take uh, a bit of effort. Let me just go back to the beginning and mention one more thing just to really emphasize it because sometimes people don't understand. Right here, you have two choices. Uh, this is simpler than this, so we chose this one. If it had been something like x plus y dx plus y dy equals zero, then in this case, y is simpler, so we use, we use this one. Okay, we use this one. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you're working on these and it's taking you some effort, it's okay. I remember, it's, it's, hard, for, uh, it's hard for everyone. Good luck.